Yellowstone Volcano How a 7-Year USGS Study Shows Abnormal Changes Yellowstone Volcano Scientists, together with the help of the European Space Agency ESA, discovered that the height of the caldera fluctuates by up to 120 mm, based on unearthed reports. The seven-year study, which began in 1997, was led by Charles Wicks and used satellite images taken by the EURES-2 probe. Their research shows rising magma beneath the northern rim of the caldera, near the Norris Geyser Basin, is causing land subsidence throughout the park. This means the edges of the caldera can rise while the floor sinks very close to each other in time. The surface appeared to be in constant motion, rising and falling, but Dr. Wicks said the team needed more time to understand what was happening. He said in 2007, we need 10 to 20 years of research before we can get a sense of normal behavior. Then we can predict what happens based on the abnormal behavior. We propose that the observed patterns of land uplift and subsidence are the result of the nearly continuous movement of molten basalt in and out of the Yellowstone volcanic system. Dr. Wicks and his colleagues believe that magma rose from beneath Sour Creek Dome in the eastern part of the caldera, where it hit the dense mantle layer and spread out. When magma enters the space beneath the dome, the dome swells and rises. Then, when magma flows out through cracks under the northern edge of the caldera, the dome settles again. He added, as the magma loses heat and cools, it dives back under mammoth, hot springs. Currently, we are looking at a new episode of escalation that began in 2004. Dr. Wicks has not provided any updates on the situation. However, this discovery does not mean the supervolcano will erupt soon, despite claims that it is already too late. Researchers working for the USGS have stated that this theory could not be further from the truth. Their website reads, First of all, one cannot display the recurrence interval based on just two values, it is statistically meaningless. But for those who insist, let's do the math. Three eruptions occurred 2.1 million, 1.3 million, and 0.64 million years ago. So, the two intervals are 0.8 and 0.66 million years, with an average interval of 0.73 million years. Again, the last eruption occurred 0.64 million years ago, implying that we are still about 90,000 years away from when we might consider calling Yellowstone overdue for another caldera forming eruption. However, we cannot rule out the possibility of another such eruption occurring in the future, given Yellowstone's volcanic history and the continued presence of magma beneath Yellowstone's caldera.